take a look at another example. It's a little bit more complicated. Uh, there are more expressions in our equation, but if we follow the same protocol, we should be fine. So uh, rewriting this as x equals 2y plus 3 over 3y minus 4. Well, to solve for y, we just do a little bit of uh, algebraic manipulation here. Equals 2y plus 3. So 3xy, factoring, multiplying x into the expression, 2y plus 3. So now we have to isolate the y terms. So isolate y term. And we have 3xy minus 2y equals, and we move the x to the other side. So we will factor out a y, we get 3x minus 2 equals 4x plus 3. And y finally equals 4x plus 3 over 3x minus 2. And finally, we want to rewrite this as f of negative 1x equals 4x plus 3 over 3x minus 2. And this is our final solution to find the inverse. Uh, and just to recap, an inverse is just a function that's the same f of g of x as g of f of x. And it must be symmetric with uh, respect to y equals x line. And step one, we will just swap x and y in our original function, solve for y in step two, and then just replace that y term with f of negative one of x. So that's a basic overview of inverse functions. In the next lessons, we'll be looking at some more advanced types of functions that appear more often on the AP Calc exam. So thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you in the next lesson.